Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindon Town Swindley Boobers, who, as you can see there, are 11 points clear here in Week 1. Meredith can't hear me. She seems nervous. It's good. Um, couple things. First off, Bandolovsky, our left back, who is currently injured because of things I'll tell you about in a second, he um, uh, is now named Dave Matthews Bandolovsky. And also McShane is called uh, Walk, of, Walk of McShane. The Walk of Shame. Walk of McShane. No. We're working on it. Uh, today I'm going to talk about whether teenagers should be allowed to vote uh, under the age of 18, in my opinion. And also I'm going to explain to you what the rest of the season is going to look like. So, it is currently, looks at thing, May 3rd. It is my dad's birthday. I need to call him. Don't let me forget. Just kidding. You're in the future. So, if you're reminding me, it's too late. Um, it is May 3rd, my dad's birthday. It's May 13th? I'm pretty sure it's May 3rd. It is May 3rd. Confirmed. Um, it's May 3rd, my dad's birthday, um, but you are watching this in the future, and I am going to be making several Swoodly Pooper videos, and by several I mean like a couple dozen, and you're going to watch all of them in the future. Now, you always watch Swoodly Pooper's videos in the future, but usually it's the near future. Uh, for this, oh, could it be? No. For this, um, oh, I forgot something very important, friends. It's, j it's uh, in the season, it's February 1st, we just finished the transfers season, and guess who I got back on the team? Bam! One size fits all, and Schmoogaberg, Merrick, Merrick. Merrick, Merrick, and one size fits all, they're back. I brought that up because one size fits all is about to christen his swoodly pooper re up a ding ding with a goal. Get it, one size fits all. Get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh, he had the shot! Oh, he was open. He's big, he's tall, he's also short and small. One size fits all, but no goal there. So, um, I'm recording this in the present. You're going to watch it in the future, uh, but that future is going to become more and more distant. Why? Is it because you hate us, John? No, it is because I'm having another child, and I want to do an actual paternity leave. So I am building up a huge library of Swoodly Pooper videos for you to enjoy while I am busy parenting. Um, so th there, there you go. One size fits all. And Merrick, Merrick, back at the look at one size fits all, tracking it down, tracking it down, tracking it down. Heroic tackle! Oh, oh, one size fits all, not his best work. Everything worked out better than expected, though, because we have uh, noted uh, enter Enterprise Ensign Wesley Green Eggs and Crusher Fodringham. It's a very long nickname. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be on paternity leave, but you won't even notice because we're going to have Swoodly Pooper videos for you as if I were in the office every single day. Come on, get that ball, son. Um, should teenagers be allowed to vote under the age of 18? Now, a lot of teenagers say, no, I should not be allowed to vote because I am an extremely uninformed voter. Well, I've got news for you, friends. Many of your parents are extremely uninformed voters as well. They're called low-information voters, not uninformed voters. And a lot of people are low-information voters. Like, a lot of people make um, their voting decisions based on not that... Oh, yeah! Joe, oh, kick him in the face! John Green getting hugged by his husband. Look at that love. The love they share. The love that you share is so much greater than the love that you... Take, make, care, fa uh, I sh thank God I'm not a beetle. Um, but anyway, congratulations to John Green. Also, we're going to have some, uh, some, actual, um, some actual songs uh, sung by you. So be sure to submit your songs and everything. Um, oh, that was a great goal. That's exciting, and we're off to a good start here against SHU. Mm, Schumann? Schumer? All right. Yeah, so lots of teenagers feel like they shouldn't be allowed to vote because they can't be trusted to, like, turn their homework on time. Um, and why should they be trusted to vote? To which I say, you would be amazed, the people we trust to vote. Um, in general, I... Oh, God! Ball John Green, you're a finisher. You gotta get the front of your head on that ball and just smirk it in the goal. Just smirk it in the goal next time. He did it with the side of the head. That never works. You needed to just smirk it. Um... Yes, I think they should be. I think you should be allowed to vote. I think the voting age should be 16, not 18. Um, and I don't. 18 seems pretty arbitrary to me. Um, and 16 would be arbitrary too, of course. But I think it would be arbitrary in the right direction. Now, a lot of people will say, "Oh, well, you know, teenagers, their brains are still developing. They don't. They're not as. Um, you know, they're more impulsive. They're not as well informed on average as adults." And that's true. Um, I don't deny. 
God, look at beautiful Wesley Crusher Fodringham. Um, I don't deny any of that. Um, however, I just don't think it matters that much. Speaking of things that matter, that goal! Oh, I had such a good... Ah. This whole episode isn't very good. Yes, I think you should be able to vote. Here's the thing. You're allowed to drive at 16, which is a far greater threat to the social order than being able to vote. Your vote only counts once. Like, a single act of driving can result in several fatalities. I just... I, I, I think we trust 16-year-olds... Uh, oh! No. God. We trust 16-year-olds to do so many things. Um, I don't see why we can't also trust them. Uh, to be voters. And in general, I don't think that every 16-year-old is uninformed, and I think we'd have fewer, um, I, I suspect anyway, that we would have fewer, a, few, a smaller percentage of 16-year-old uh, voters would qualify as, um, as uh, low-information voters than current adults. So I don't think that's a good argument. Um, I, I, I don't really see any argument. No! I was outside the box. Woo! I need you. Green eggs and green eggs and green eggs and foldering ham. Just, just enough. Just enough. Just enough. Um, yeah, I just don't buy the argument that, um, like, given all the other things that we trust 16-year-olds to do, I think we either need to take away si the 16-year-old's right to drive a car um, or we need to give 16-year-olds uh, the right to vote because it seems to me that driving a car is a far greater um, kind of, like, part of the social contract than voting. Um, not that voting isn't a big deal, because it is. It's very important, but it's halftime. Oh, look, I'm, one size fits all just missed that tackle, plain and simple. I'm just so glad he's back, though. Merrick, Merrick hasn't made much of an impact on the game. There he is. You can tell him on the field because he's bald and he's tiny. That was a good, that was a good steal and pass, all for nothing. Um, oh, I meant to mention, uh, before I get back to the issue of 16-year-olds of voting, I meant to, I meant to mention, and, and why this will never happen, even if we want it to happen, but I, I did mean to mention something that, that is important. Um, and that is, the, it turns out that in FIFA 13, you really can't play people when they're tired, or they will actually get injured. It's not just something that the, that the computer threatens to do. It's something that the computer, oh, oh, yes, no, actually does. They actually have you injure people. So, like, half of our team is currently injured because... In a, in a run up to the uh, to the transfer deadline that you guys didn't see me play, I uh, I played a bunch of people I shouldn't have because I was so excited about getting one size fits all back on the team. Who, by the way, I had to pay like seven times what he's worth. But you know, is there a price that you can put on loyalty? I say no. You should have heard me when I um, explained to one size fits all why I wanted him on the team so bad. Um, I was like, well, I used to play FIFA 11, and he was like, what's FIFA 11? And I was like, it's a previous iteration of the video game that you're currently inside of. And he was like, I'm in a video game. Um, anyway, he was cool with it, and he came over from Watford, uh, and he's really, he's excited, even though he's coming down a league from the championship to League One, he knows that we're headed right back up. Oh, no. Fitz Hall, instead of raising your hand, maybe you can get back and do some defending. There you go, baby. Ooh, I was a little nervous there at the back. Okay. Um... Anyway, I'm just saying that because I know that a lot of 16-year-olds uh, watch this show and I'm pandering to my audience. But um, here's why it will never happen. It will never happen because it would require a constitutional amendment, which is just, like, completely inconceivable. It's inconceivable right now that the United States could pass a constitutional amendment being opposed to, like, you know, I don't know, expressing, expressing an overall opposition to the smell of poop. Uh, I don't think I don't think we could get that done. We couldn't get an equal rights amendment done, which was just all that said is that women should have the same rights as men, and we couldn't get that passed even 20 years ago. The uh, it's so it, the, in contemporary American politics, it's so impossible to pass a constitutional amendment. It's pretty much unthinkable to me that I I, I, I don't I think I would be very everything is fine. I would be very surprised if a constitutional amendment is passed in my lifetime um, about anything. Um, let alone, you know, something is relatively small. Oh, you're a better crosser of the ball than that, Fireball Wilson Groberts. Hmm, it's disappointing. In general, I have to say I haven't been pleased with his play. By the way, we had to get rid of a couple players in order to pay for one size fits all, the most notable of whom was uh, C Stuff. We're not going to be seeing stuff anymore. Ah, it's kind of devastating. I'm not happy about it either. But it was one size fits all, who apparently in FIFA 13 is terrible. Um, but whatever, I don't care. I, you know, we're, we're, we're a club that's all about, ultimately about loyalty, and 
you know, Sea Stuff had been with our team for two months. Fitz Hall had been with it for five. Freaking Fitz Hall! Good lord. That guy has been totally ineffective in the back today. There's no other word for it. Oh my goodness. Just not, not good coming out of the back. Oh, not enough. But you know the important thing is that 80 minutes in, even though we haven't had a great game, the Swin and Town Swindle Coopers are still 1-0 up. John Green, Nay Bennett, has 23 goals in all competitions, and they're taking out a guy named Kitson. I wish we had a guy named Kitson. If only we had all the players, at least all the gingers. I'd, by the way, I tried desperately to get Ginger Rampage. Desperately. I ended up offering $800,000 for him, even though he's only worth like four fifty, and it uh, didn't happen. I'm going to get him next season, though. Don't you worry, people. Oh! Oh! He got us. How many times do I have to push the B button to make it go? Probably just once. <laughs> that's, that's not a question that, like, proper FIFA players ask. How many times do I have to push the B button to make it go? Um, you know, like a real KSOL WGDBT does not ask that question when he is playing with, uh, in, in uh, Division One or whatever. Come on! Yes to the middle. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Back. Back to ball, John Green. Oh, what a goal! That was going to be such a great team goal. Oh, and it's still a goal. It's still a goal thanks to other John Green. Oh. Oh. Thank you. He's big. He's tough. He has a brilliant puff. Other John Green. Other John Green. He looks a little tired, but he's going to man it up till the end of the game. If it weren't for other John Green, this game would have been a disaster. However, you got you got to say that was a good... Uh, Fitzhall, you're, you're faster. You're fast enough to get back there. you got to say that was a great team goal by the Swoodley Poopers. You know, excellent use of the double Y button. I used the Y button twice in a row, not to brag, but I did. And congratulations to the Swoodley Poopers. 2-0 victors. Achieving something that 16-year-olds in America will never achieve at all. A victory for their civil rights. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.